you're a regular viewer of the Mike Vrabel Show or any football coaches show, you know that special teams is a favorite topic, always. In 2021, it has been even more relevant than in years past, as the Titans' overall special teams have been nothing short of outstanding. Randy Bullock making field goals has been Exhibit A, and Brett Kern's amazing punting has been a topic for over a decade now. But go deeper into Titans' special teams than just the men kicking the football, and you find a group changing games every single week. Nick Westbrook Aquina shows up a lot. The second year wide receiver is typical of the player that is standing out on the Titans special teams, largely because he really enjoys it. It's so much fun for me because, you know, it's a different aspect of the game that people don't really see. And, and there's kind of like a, a beauty to it because if you're good at it and you understand the situations and how to make those plays, they're real impactful plays in a game. So I'd probably say that's the biggest thing is it's the most underrated part of doing it is just being able to make an impact that people don't see. And, you know, it's my chance to play on defense, you know, as an offensive player. And it goes the same way for some of those defensive guys to be able to, you know, play on offense and have that experience. The Titans special teams performance has been a byproduct of the hard work of coordinator Craig Ackerman and the infusion of players who have added professionalism and leadership. Long snapper Morgan Cox heads that list. The native Tennessean made three Pro Bowls in Baltimore, and he's a steady hand for the Titans, both on and off the field. He's just automatic, I feel like. And in the same way as Brett, you know, really unsung hero, you know, in our special teams unit, being able to be so consistent, but then also behind the scenes, the research he does for us to understand, you know, a game plan and understand where they're going to be kicking the ball so we can know and have a better game plan to, on kickoff return. And, just all those kind of things and also, you know, just like a spiritual leader on the team as well as Brett, you know, helping to lead this team more than just football and just being, you know, great men as well. Matthias Farley is a leader in our special teams room more than anything. Brings a lot of experience, you know, does make plays and leads our, our special teams unit just by being smart, understanding situations, being competitive, you know, and bringing the juice and to our special teams meetings, but then also to practice and games. Nick Zubnar, is, he's a leader as well. He leads our team. He's always the one breaking us down before we're going out in the field on kickoff or kickoff return and kind of sets the tone, you know, for our special teams to be able to play fast, play aggressive and do whatever it takes. You know, he's one of those guys, goes in there, does the dirty work, doesn't care if his number's called or not. You know, he's just going to go out there and play his tail off. Another guy who works his tail off was mentioned earlier, special teams coordinator Craig Ackerman. He's been well respected for years inside St. Thomas Sports Park, and his attention to detail, his ability to communicate, and the juice that he brings to the Titans special teams unit, all are very important. Plus, like every good special teams coach, the man known as Auk might be just a little crazy, but you know, crazy in a good way. Auk's a great dude, like you said, he's got a lot of juice, always brings it, he's never turned off but it's good because, you know, it makes practices kind of not lighthearted, but it just makes them fun, makes it fun to play for them and fun to go out there, you know, every Sunday or Monday or Thursday night, whatever it's going to be. You know, he's going to bring the juice and have us ready to go. Ask any Titans special teamer for their signature moment of 2021 so far, and the answer would be consistent. Dylan Cole's caused fumble and Torrey Carter's recovery of the second half kickoff against the Saints. It was an obvious big play, yes, but it came from not just hustle, but a lot of preparation. That was a point of emphasis, stopping their kickoff returner. You know, he's a great, you know, electric returner and being able to go down there, make a big hit and cause a fumble that, you know, really changes the game. That defines us as a special teams unit and what we want to be is be game changing, make game changing plays. We got to do whatever it takes, accept your role, you know, whatever it takes to, to help the team win and understanding the, the importance of special teams and just have a, a alpha dog mentality. You know, that's something we always talk about is being the guy that's going to win your one-on-one -on -one matchup against you know their best special team player and, and turn the tide in the game in the special teams aspect and you know play complimentary football.